Hi everyone, welcome to the 262 Market Report. I'm Jennifer Zeller, the Red Shoe Realtor, and today we're going to talk about what we see going on nationally, locally, and what to expect in the upcoming week, uh, specifically in the Milwaukee area, but we'll talk a little about national news too. So what did we see this week? So this week when Michelle and I were out showing homes, um, we had about, we only had two home showings that we did this week actually. Uh, we saw one uh, that was downtown Milwaukee in a condo, and that condo, actually we saw three, and the condo's uh, been on a little while, uh, at a price point of about 209 really century located, um, a couple things in the building that, or in the condo I should say, that made it not right for a client, and I noticed on today when I looked, it's still available. Another showing we did was in Milwaukee County, uh, in in Wauwatosa. It was a nice home, good price point, uh, 200000 great price point for people wanting to get into the um, Wauwatosa School District, nice, uh, you know, smaller home if people, you know, whatever they want, downsize or whatever. Um, we The house went on on Saturday when there was all the snow. Uh, we rescheduled our showing for Sunday. By Sunday, they had three offers. They were having 20 more showings on Sunday, and they do have an accepted offer. My client didn't write. It wasn't quite right for them. Um, one other home that we saw was in the Maquan area, the 625 price point. Um, it was um, an older home that had a lot of character. Uh, it was pretty nicely updated, but they still had a few um, improvements going on when the home listed. These people did a pre-inspection. So they went and had an inspection done because they knew my, there might be a few things. They're like, let's put it on the table, write your offer based on that. Again, it wasn't right for our client. However, they had an offer within 24 hours. Um, it had a lot of character, a lot of unique features to it. It had a nice master on the first floor. And so that was gone in 24 hours. Um, as far as what happened in Ozaki County this week, we saw uh, nine new listings go on. And again, remember, new listings are not homes that were in delayed status. There was also, I think, three or four that were had been in delayed status that came on, but specifically new listings was nine. Of those nine, I checked this morning, four of them had accepted offers already. So in the first week, I would say a little less than half got accepted offers right away. Two of them were over a million. One of those over a million did have an accepted offer already. So... Um, I think what we're seeing in Ozaki County is still, if your home is in great shape, glossy, as I like to say, it is going within the first couple of days, uh, especially if it's, you know, in that mid-range of maybe four to eight. Above that, it might might go a little longer. It depends on, you know, who's looking for that home. And below the fours, I would say if it's glossy, it's gone. If it needs a little work, um, you know, it might make it through a week. You might get to get a price reduction but that's what's happened in Ozaki County. Um, I have a graphic here I want to show as far as new listings. So the new listings, the green line is Cedarburg, the blue line is Mequon, and that shows, um, one second here, that shows, actually let's flip those. Okay. New listings, the green is Cedarburg, the black is Mequon. This is over the last three years. And as you can see um, that, uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. As you can see, um, listings, really new listings have maintained pretty consistent in July. That's when the rates first had that big drum, jump. They checked up a little bit, so this is inventory on hand, um, but then it's kind of been consistent. Generally in the spring market, what we'd expect to see is that the inventory will start tracking up a little bit, but we haven't seen that yet. Um, we're heading into April, you know, first quarter's done already, and so we really haven't seen that much more inventory on the market. A um, couple of reasons for that, of course, as we've talked about before, is um, that homeowners have 70, over 70% have a 4% rate in Milwaukee or lower, so they may be concerned of, if I give up this rate, I'm going to have to go higher. Um, they might be concerned they won't be able to find a house. I, you know, they're going to have to get into that competitive market of trying to get your offer accepted. So they're not putting their homes on the market quite as much. Um, there's fewer in inventory. There's also fewer buyers, but there's more buyers in inventory because we've had kind of pent-up buyer demand for quite a while now. 
And so the reason maybe is there's less inventory is homes are still going really quick. You know, if you start to see a shift and it's more of a buyer's market, then you're going to see more inventory on hand. But we haven't seen that in quite a while. Um, new listings. So the new listings, Cedarburg Mequon. As you can see uh, in the new listings, um, like we were just talking about in April, you can expect to start to go up a little bit. And we'll see if we see that right now. It's really haven't had an increase in inventory. Um, so that kind of covers Milwaukee and Ozaki County, what we're seeing. So let's talk about some national news. Last week, the Fed increased the, the rate 0.25. Uh, and that's kind of what people had been expecting for the last couple of weeks after there was the banking crisis with SVP and Credit Suisse. And so we we're expecting before that it was 0.5. It kind of settled to the 0.25. One of the other things the Fed said last week is that they're not expecting to increase the rate anymore this year. Fingers crossed. Um, so we'll see. So that really settled the market. Uh, and, the, and as a matter of fact, mortgage rates dropped. Um, they dropped below 6.5, which is the first time in a number of weeks. And um, toward the end of the week, I think people were locking in, you know, lower the lower set they have in a while. Beginning of this week, they were, the 10... 10-year rate is 3.5. Again, what we've talked about is for the 10-year rate, it's usually 2% more for mortgages, but what we've seen in the last couple of months is, or years even is that it's three. So if it's 6.5, rates today are pushing up a little above 6.5, still not at the seven that we had seen just about a month ago, actually. Um, another interesting thing is that the percentage of down payments is down 10%. From year to year so in february the down payment percentage was down 10 percent year to year why is that uh, a couple of things one correlating really is that va and fha loan percentages percentage of what's getting accepted is up and va and fha loans can have a much smaller slash no down payment and so that might be one of the things and it is one of the things bringing the down payment rate down um and so last, let's see, last in January, 16.7 were FHA loans and 7.5 were VA loans. So almost 25% of accepted offers were FHA or VA. And that leaves CAS offers, conventional. So that's, you know, a good percentage. It's great for our vets in that who will be able to use their VA. They're getting opportunities to use them. Um, and the FHA was up 13% year to year. And the VA is up 6% year to year. Um, so again, that's tying in and bringing the amount of down payments down. Again, if you remember last spring this time, it was like craziness, uh, 40 offers, things like that. So again, people were maybe putting a little bit more down to try to secure the home or cash. And so that's what's leading to, again, 10% down year to year. Um, let's see. Another thing is... First time, oh, first time in 11 years, and this is interesting, and we'll see where this trend goes, home prices drop year to year. So the rate from February this year to the February last year, home prices dropped 0.2%. Not, so not a percentage or anything like that, um, but first time in 11 years. I, to me, that's just crazy that the year to year rate has dropped. So we'll have to watch and see with March if that's a trend that continues. Um, I think what Michelle and I noticed like in um leading up to that so it would be february that might be uh like a december early january and at that time the homes that we were looking at were getting a little bit less than they may have out in like march or april now so we're interested to see you know because those march closings are going to be february offers generally or early february offers so it'll be interesting to see how that comes in in january um that being said so all right homes lost value 0.2 percent year to year. Um, I was listening to a stat last year and I wish I had it exactly in front of me, but basically homes generally increase every decade, 35 to 40%. And incredibly, even in the 2000s, so 2000, 2000 to 2010, it, I think it increased close to 40% your home values. And that's taking into account 2008, you know, with the mortgage crisis. So even if this year, year to year was only 0.2% decrease, your tenure of being, you know, being a homeowner is going to be probably in the 30 to 40% raise in your equity in your home, um, which is why we're always encouraging 
buyers, your first time buyers, like get get your foot in the door, start building that equity, start, um, you know, get, becoming people who own homes are, I forgot the number so much, such a higher percentage of um, financial stability and their overall financial portfolio is so much greater. It's not even in relation to the, the amount that you put into your home payment versus your rent, but that it really gets, launches you onto a path of sp- financial stability. So if you're a first-time homeowner thinking, oh, should I, shouldn't I? The answer is yes. Get your foot in the door. So what's coming up this week? Coming up this week, we have on Wednesday the, I can't read my writing. Oh, pending home sales. Wednesday is pending home sales. That's kind of sad. I write it big so I can read it and I still couldn't read it. On Thursday, it's the initial jobs claims. Um, so you know, unemployment, things like that. And then uh, on Friday, the PCE index will be coming out. So we'll see what that says. Presumer, personal consumer index. I think that's right. Um, which basically shows, you know, the core goods that people are buying, what goes on with that rate. Um, so that's what we have going on. Inventory is still slow. Rates have dropped a little bit. Um, inventory is tight. Glossy has gone. Pretty, pretty homes are all done. They go quickly. And if you have any questions on your specific home, you're kind of wondering like, what is my home worth? What was it worth now compared to last year? Just send us a message. Um, we look forward to talking to you soon and we'll see you next Monday with How's the Market? I'm Jennifer Zeller, Red Shoe Realtor, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.